Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And as you can see, we have this trike that we have tamed from the last episode. And so I thought what we would do today is a couple of things I've been meaning to test out about this game. Um, one, you can see in the upper right hand corner that I have that Find the Explorer Note quest on again. Um, it's driving me crazy that I haven't managed to finish that quest yet, so one of the objectives for today is to take the trike out, who is hopefully strong enough to protect us, and we will go and figure out a way to get those Explorer Notes and finish that quest and hopefully get some good loot, because the Ascendant Bow we got from the last quest was kind of amazing. It's been really helpful. Um, Number two, I actually want to go to the green obelisk and you can see here I'm kind of cycling through some of the creature implants that I've managed to collect since I've been started playing this game. Um, and the thing is, is that when you kill a creature freshly, so in this case, let me into your inventory, there we go. Um, I recently killed a raptor, and you can see in the lower left-hand corner that it gives you a little bit of information about the creature that the implant came from, and it has an expire timer that's about 24 hours, or 23 and a half hours. Um, and it requires some amber to revive them. So I know that when you take a tamed animal's um, implant to one of these obelisks, you can revive them in a certain amount of time if you have enough amber. But I don't know what happens if you take a wild one. So I want to test that out and see basically if doing that wild one will like revive a wild creature that will then have to kill again or possibly tame. That would be cool if you had to accidentally kill a really good tame um, or good potential tame. Maybe you could actually have a second chance at taming that creature if you could bring it back. So we're going to test that out. And I just wanted to mention this. Um, if you're observant, you may have seen it in the clip a little second ago. Um, we have a Mastercraft Scorpion saddle here. And I got that by watching one of those ads. Um, so the gift box in the upper right-hand corner with the timer on it. That's how you get good blueprints on this game and like bonus items. So that is basically um, the mobile version of your beacon drops that you get in the PC game. So just wanted to mention that in case anyone was curious and um, I do plan on watching a few more ads now just to kind of get some good loot. Um, not that I'll be paying attention to the ads but it is going to be a thing that I'm going to do. So if I have like suddenly OP gear, I want you all to know where it came from. All right. And if it's raining, I also need to see if I can fill these up. There we go. So yeah, I have the trike. Um, I left my ascendant bow back in the hut because I don't want to lose it to any of this stuff. All right, so we are gonna go on an adventure here, and hopefully we don't run into anything too terribly deadly. Oh, there's something already. No, no, let me on. Gotta get through these rocks. Trikes are a little bit difficult to navigate. All right. Dang it. Keeps registering when I move the screen as a hold. There we go. There's another couple of trikes here. Um, are we stuck on this rock? We are stuck on this rock. We'll go around it. I also got to be careful not to accidentally attack anything that normally wouldn't attack me. Um, yeah. Like, I don't want to accidentally hit one of these other trikes. I think our trike could probably handle it, but it's a better idea not to have to deal with that. Like, the less damage we can do to our trike, the better off we're going to be in the long run. Okay, so I am headed for an explorer note marked on the map, and I kind of got to circle around the mountain here through all these rocks, which is unfortunate. Um... 
Luckily, there's not a whole lot of, like, bad, bad things up here today. That I can see. Although we may not make it all the way up the mountain if we already are having health problems. I want to see if I can get my own... No. Apparently I cannot get my own health information when I'm on the trike, which is very unfortunate. I do not like that. Alright, how am I doing? Um, not too bad. Let me back on. There we go. Okay, not too bad so far. I just kind of got to keep an eye on how, um, how much health we're losing. Alright, make our way around the mountain. It is literally straight up the side of this mountain, so if we can get up here fast enough, maybe kill these raptors while we're at it. We are very cold right now, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. Wait for some stam to regen, kind of walk our way up here. Is that going to be an aloe? Okay, now we're just regular cold. That's much better. Alright, if it's a carno or a raptor, we can probably handle it. Yes, we definitely can. Alright. Now we're going to take on this carno. Let's see. Oh, he's a strong carno. Okay. We have some knockback too. Alright. We're gonna do this. Our trike is fine. Our health bar's still full. He can't even reach us. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So the ragdoll glitches are still pretty bad. I want him to stop moving. Because I kind of want to revive the carno. Can I... This is not easy to loot. Okay. I just want that and those arrows. Everything else is kind of okay. I don't care about anything else. Come on, get close enough. There we go. Alright. So... Where is this... Where is this explorer note? It's kind of in a weird place from what I can tell. It must be somewhere over in this rock field that we, we probably just passed right by it. I think we're going in the right-ish direction. Let me check. Yeah, we are basically on top of it. Ugh. Let's kill this raptor here. Save me some trouble. Alright. I'm going to find it. I am going to find it. Are we closer? Which way should we go? Hmm. Okay. Maybe a little to the left. This is really difficult, actually. Alright, we're apparently on the right track. Somewhere in this area. Alright, let's see if I can find it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I know where it is. Luckily, there's nothing too dangerous, just a packy. Can we get up here? No? I really want to get up there. Alright. This could be a problem. Why would they make it where you can't get to it? Ugh. Okay. Alright. I don't want to leave the trike. And that's really steep. Alright. I'm going to bring you guys back when I can figure out a way to get up there. It'll take me a few minutes. I'm going to have to go around. I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, guys. So, we made it up here. Um, it was a little bit weird. I just kind of had to go up and around the mountain and then drop down from up there. So, I'm going to get this explorer note. Awesome. So, we got the Electra Forest. So, that is the eel, which are sort of all right. Okay, so apparently now we've completed the pursuit. Awesome. Um, and apparently we get nothing for it except, oh no, we got a two times experience bonus. If you look down on the lower hood, you can see a little 2x on our experience bar. That's, that's not too bad. All right, but I'm not going to worry about mine right now. I'm just going to worry about making sure the trike is all set. Okay. Now the trick is getting out of here without taking too much fall damage. Yeah. Kind of wiggle our way up the side of the mountain here. Almost. Uh, okay. Awesome. Alright, so now we are going to head towards the green obelisk over there. Um, it may take me a while. It's quite a ways away. But we have a Carno artifact. We have a Raptor artifact. Um, I'll bring you guys back if we run into anything particularly exciting. I'm just going to continuously record, so I'll make sure those clips are in there if anything interesting happens. But in the meantime, um, if, if we get over there without any problems, which I highly doubt, um, then I'll just bring you guys back when we actually get to the obelisk. That's a cool looking RG. I like those red wings. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Nice. They don't bother me. Okay. Yep. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, guys. So, here we are. We have made it to the Green Obelisk. It was a little bit of a long journey. Um, especially on a trike, which are not the fastest things in the world. But we've been pumping Stam, so I didn't have to stop too much. Um, nothing really eventful happened. I had to kill a couple of snakes and one RG, but... Like, they're so weak compared to the trike, it's it's great. Wow. Alright, flying snakes, cool. Okay, so, back on task, we are gonna head up here. And we are gonna make sure the area is clear, because I do not feel like getting killed when I am trying to do a thing. Oh, that's nice, it's now on my map, good. Yep, Dillo. No Dillos. Not here. Come at me. Ha. Ah. Awesome. Oh, there's more of you. That's okay. I love the knockback that the trikes do. It's so nice. Nothing can even get close enough to you to hurt you, really, unless it's really big. Which is super handy. Alright. And we have water, so real quick, before I do anything else, I'm going to make sure that these are full again. So I don't have to get off the mount if I don't have to when we're going back. Alright. I think the area is okay. Nice. Okay, so we have this tribute terminal. So I'm going to go through... Alright, we have this Carno. Oh, it requires 10 Amber. Okay, so that means we're going to have to try to bring back this Raptor if we can. I'm going to get rid of the Carno one because we have enough Amber for that. Awesome. Okay. Um, and apparently... Can I... What else? Does it require other things? No. Alright, I am trying really hard to deposit the amber that I have, but it is not working. So it looks like you can put these creature implants in, but you cannot drop the amber in right now. I don't know if that's a bug or what, because I do know that you can use amber. I just clicked on the amber symbol up in the upper right hand corner you can use it to purchase um, certain bonuses and certain crafting stations on this game 
but you should be able to use it in the tribute terminal to revive a creature. So it really, I'm not sure what's happening here and why I can't drop it in. Because I should be able to drop it in just to like revive an actual creature. So I don't know what's going on there, if it's a bug or what. Um, that's unfortunate because the resurrect button is there. Oh, wait. Oh, you just tap it. Okay. Are you tamed or wild? Oh, he's wild. Okay. Um, so, yep, you can revive a wild creature with Ancient Amber. That is good to know. You're probably just going to have to kill them again unless you want to tame it. I don't particularly want to tame that raptor. So, cool. All right. Um, GG, poor raptor. He had to die twice today. That's a rough day. Wonder if he has anything. Nothing on him. Well, the good news is, um, if you feel like wasting the amber, which I think it's probably a better idea to save it, um, you can get extra hide and things that way by reviving a creature and then killing it again. Um, but cool. That's a cool mechanic that they've included in this game. Um, I really do appreciate it, especially since, gosh, we seem to lose a lot, at least on this series. Um, it seems like it'd be really easy to lose your tames on the mobile version. So it's nice that they have a mechanism in place to kind of get those tames back. And Ancient Amber, you can pick up from stones on the ground. Like it's a very rare chance that you'll pick up some Amber from that. Um, and you can get it as rewards for watching ads and other things as well. So there's a few ways to get Amber on this game, but it is a really rare resource. Um, I haven't gotten more than the six that I've picked up since I started playing this game. So that should just um, give you an idea. You, you really have to save that Amber. And I'm okay spending it today because, um, well, obviously we, uh, we don't really need it yet. Um, but if we ever tame a Rex or something, a really high-level Rex, I'm probably going to want to start stockpiling my Amber. Go away. Go away, Compy. Yeah, I don't need you. Dillo, why? The turn radius on the Rex isn't great, but once you get around, it's not too bad. Go away. And a Meganura. Cool. And we are not even barely damaged. All right. Anyway, so yes, um, I'm going to start stockpiling any amber that I get. Uh, I don't think you can transfer it out of your inventory, which is a little unfortunate. So I'm always going to be doing my best to recover my corpse um, if I die. And yeah, I want to keep that amber around in case we tame something really good that we can't live without. Um, I'm tempted to get enough to be able to revive this trike in case it dies at the moment because this is actually a really good trike. Like, I've fought a couple of things now and I haven't had any trouble. We can take down Carnos and Raptors and um, Argies and Snakes. Basically, all of the things that have managed to kill me in past episodes, we can now kill them instead. Although, I still don't want to mess with Therizinos, which are, there's one over there. If you see him stalking around like a giant bird man, because that's what they are. All right, so we're gonna cross the river here and we're gonna make our way back. It is also getting dark. Oh, look, there, there's some ancient amber right there. This is actually really cool. So you can also find amber just kind of floating around in the world. I would really like to get up there and harvest that. Can we do it? Can we rock climb? Come on, trike, you can do it. You're a rock climbing trike, I know you are. You have skills. Okay, maybe if we turn just right, because we, we do this. Now, can we? Nope, nope. <sighs> okay, get back on. Jump off. Now jump. Yes. All right, so we just picked up nine ancient amber. So you can also find it just laying around in the world like that, and it is bright and glowy. 
Um, and we have our amazing rock climbing trike, Sergio, here, who I very much love. I love this trike. Um, so that's convenient. So we were able to gather some amber, too. So anyway, I'm going to make my way back to the base, as I was saying before I got distracted by the big old deposit of amber. Come on, trike. You can do it. All right. And once I get back there, um, man, it's getting dark. Okay, once I get back there safely, I will bring you guys back um, and just kind of end off the episode at that point. Um, I want to make sure that we make it back safely. And again, if I run into anything crazy out here, I'm going to bring you guys back for it so that you can kind of see the battles because that's the entertaining part of the episodes. I know. I always find it really fun when I die, even though it's frustrating too. So, yep. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. We can light this up. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so we are back. We have made it safely back to the hut. Um, and I think it was a pretty awesome episode today. We were able to finally finish the first quest available to players on this game. We went out to test whether you can revive wild creatures uh, and found out that in fact you can, which is awesome because w if you can do that, that means that if you accidentally have to kill a tame for whatever reason, you can go to an obelisk and you can revive it and you can try to tame it again. So unless they have some sort of mechanism for um, making those creatures untamable, which I probably will test at some point, um, and of course they may or may not patch that at some point, then you could have a second chance at getting a good tame, which is kind of an amazing thing. Uh, that would be a really cool mechanic, maybe a little bit OP, I don't know, um, in my opinion, I think it's a little OP, but so is our trike, so that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna get us in the gate here so that we are safe and cozy in our tiny, tiny little dino pen here. Awesome. Uh, we were also able to find some amber, as I said, if you're just exploring out, it's kind of out in the world, you can pick it up sometimes from rocks on the ground. Um, and you can get it from watching ads, uh, which is a big way to get a lot of stuff. As you can see, we have our fancy new scorpion saddle blueprint that we can use. Um, but I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this episode. Please like, please subscribe if you have not already. If you find yourself enjoying the content at any point, there's an aloe up on the hill fighting a trike. Awesome. Let's get in on that real quick, actually. I bet we can do it. If that trike doesn't take it down, I bet we will. Come on. Last thing we're going to do this episode is see if we can't get in on this battle. We're a little slow. We're a little slow, but I really hate aloes, and I think it's about time we took some down. Come on, Sergio. Get up here. We're going to help this trike. No, that's not what I want. Get back on. Get back on. There we go. That was almost a disaster. Okay. We are going to kill this aloe. Yes. He killed that trike and we killed that aloe. I am very happy with this. This is a good result. It was only level one. But I don't mind. Is there... You have nothing in your inventory? Give me. Give me your thing. I want your creature implant. I want it as a trophy. That's annoying. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take your hide anyway. Nothing else I will take your hide. Okay. Yep, I don't want your implant. That's okay. Sergio is way better. Level 42. Okay, so as I said, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for coming out. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you find yourself enjoying the content at any point, please do like, please do subscribe. It really does help me out. Helps promote the channel. 
And uh, if you would, I would really appreciate it if people would check out my Scorched Earth series. It's um, It was the first series I started on this channel before I got into this mobile closed beta. And I am still keeping it going. It's a little bit slow at the moment, but it should start picking up soon. Um, so if you would check that out, I would appreciate it. And it is a fun series. Um, I am better at PC Arc, which actually probably makes it less fun. But I'll leave that up to you guys. So, that's going to do it for today. Um, I guess I have one more question for you guys. Please leave in the comments below if you would answer this. That would be great. Do you like the death montages that I do at the end of the videos like I did for the last video? Because um, I'm kind of on the fence about them. I do think it's extra content. I do think it's interesting and kind of fun to watch me just destroying things around the island. Um, but at the same time, like... It's just a montage of me killing things around the island. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you like to see them, if you like to see those little death montages, uh, let me know. And if you hate them, please tell me if you hate them. Because then I just won't do them. Because they do take time to make. And they're kind of a pain. Um, and I've only been doing them because I think they're fun. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, signing off. This is the Iguana. And have a good one, guys.